Hey guys, I am back on YouTube after almost a month of having disappeared due to moving issues, but now I am all settled down and I'm living in sunny Miami Beach, Florida. For those of you who don't already know me, I'm Bella, an L Education certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast. And welcome to my channel, Concept 3, where I help you transform your wardrobe, your image, and your lifestyle. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to style a white button-down top, and I will be giving you some tips and tricks based specifically on your body type. So if you guys are interested in learning how to transform this staple wardrobe piece, make sure to keep on watching, and most importantly, watch until the end. So a white button down top is a staple piece that a lot of people do have in their wardrobe, but the issue is not everyone knows exactly how to style it. It's gotten the reputation for being boring and stiff and not fun to really, you know, use in your wardrobe for many different occasions. A lot of my clients have asked me, how do you style this particular item? And most importantly, how do I style it on my body type to make it look the best that it can look? So the first category for wearing the white button down top is going to be business or office attire. And this is historically what white button down shirts are known to be, you know, best worn for. The very first look is my absolute favorite and this is pairing the white button down top with a pair of slacks. It really depends on what your body type is and what you're most comfortable wearing. Now you can opt to leave the shirt open for a more relaxed look or you can make it a little bit more put together by tying it. It really depends on how you want to style the shirt and the overall look and vibe of the outfit that you're going for. My favorite is definitely to tie it. So if you are an inverted triangle, an apple, or a rectangle, a really great way to style this top is with a pair of pleated pants because it's going to add volume to the lower half of the body and a little bit more interest so it will detract away from any areas that you don't want to put too much of an emphasis on. Now the flared pant is going to look absolutely amazing on a rectangle, apple, and inverted triangle shape because as with the pleated pant, it's going to add a lot of volume and interest to the bottom half and just balance out your proportions beautifully. And lastly, the straight leg pant is going to be a great option for the hourglass, the pear, and the apple. This is a really elongating and slenderizing um, type of pant, so it's definitely going to be a great option if you have a lot of curves and you want to balance out your hips and your midsection. An option that is really great for all body types and universally flattering is the boot cut. And this is the classic cut of work pants that people usually wear. And I think it's a really great option if you want to go for something classic, sleek, and sophisticated. So the next look for styling the white button down top is going to be with a sort of pencil skirt or an A-line skirt. And this is a really fun way to look elegant, sophisticated, and show off your curves in the office, but also to stay appropriate and you know within the right confines of an office or workspace. So the classic pencil skirt is going to work best on the pear, apple, hourglass, and rectangle body shape. This is a skirt that I'm wearing and I think that it's a really beautiful and elegant way to rock a white button down shirt. The mermaid skirt on the other hand, which is a variation of the pencil skirt with a little bit of fabric um, added at the bottom, is going to look amazing on an apple, hourglass, inverted triangle, and rectangle. And basically this gives the illusion of adding more volume to the bottom half. So it's really just going to balance out all four of these silhouettes beautifully. Lastly, a belted pencil skirt is another really great option if you are a pear, rectangle, inverted triangle, or hourglass. And it's just going to cinch you in at the waist and it's going to add a nice balance to the silhouette, especially when you have a slightly bigger white button down shirt on the top half. Another way to wear it is to wrap it by tucking it into your skirt and this is another really cute way to wear the white button down top. The next category of looks that we're going to talk about for styling the white button down shirt is going to be casual. And this is also a really well known way to wear the this sort of staple item. Look number one is going to be the pleated skirt. And, and I think that wearing a pleated skirt is a really easy way to kind of liven up and make 
the white button down top a little bit more flirty and a little bit more sexy. And obviously you can opt for a shorter skirt or you can opt for a longer pleated skirt if you wanna go for a more modest or covered up look. This is also a really great option. So if you wanna attract attention to the lower half of the body, then I recommend doing a print. However, if you don't want to attract so much attention to the lower half, then you should do a solid color. If you don't really care either way, then both are really great options and you can have fun playing it up with prints in different colors. For a less sexy option, you can go ahead and button the button all the way up and this will give you a little bit more of a modest look. Or if not, you can opt to leave the top completely open, which will give it a more relaxed and boho vibe. And look number two for wearing the button down top in a casual way is pairing it with a pair of corduroy pants or normal pants and a pair of mules. And this is one of my go-to looks when I don't really know what I wanna wear. I'll just throw my pants and a, a nice lacy, um, lacy silk tank top and my mules and I just look so put together without having to do too much. You can go ahead and roll up the sleeves and roll them down for a more of an elegant look or as I always like to do, leave it completely open to give it more of a relaxed vibe. If you are a pear, rectangle, or hourglass, the skinny pant is going to look extremely flattering on you because, it, because it's going to really highlight every curve of your body and kind of cinch you in at the waist and emphasize the hips. Now the cigarette pant is a great option if you are an apple, pear, hourglass, or inverted triangle, and I love this cut especially for the inverted triangle because it is not too tapered around the ankle area. Therefore, it does a really great job of balancing out the silhouette. A flared pant, on the other hand, is going to look especially great on an apple, an hourglass, a rectangle, and an inverted triangle. And as with a lot of the other styles I talked about before, it's just going to add more volume to the lower half of the body. So it's going to balance out the tummy area, the shoulder area, and the hip area as well. So this is really cute if you want to go for this sort of option. This is one of the easiest outfits to style and I just love it for casual running errands and hanging out at home. So we have finally reached the last category for styling the white button down top and this is the fancy category or the going out category. This sort of staple item is not traditionally thought of when styling a more elegant or sophisticated outfit, but if you style it the right way, it can definitely work. So look number one is going to be wearing a nice crop top with a nice little skirt made out of a very expensive and good material and then you just throw the white button down shirt over it or you can tie it or you can just do whatever you want with it and this will really elevate the look and it will also keep you a little bit more covered up because when you wear a skirt and you wear a crop top there's a lot going on so it really just kind of balances out your silhouette and it will give you a little bit of balance so you're not walking around so skimpily dressed. Now the bias skirt is so feminine, sexy, and elegant and especially great for a night out. The body types that rock this the best are the apple, the hourglass, the pear, and the rectangle. And it's a really great option because it is going to show off your curves and your shape, but at the same time, it is not going to clench too tightly to any one part of the body. The A-line skirt is super sophisticated and edgy and it tends to look best on the apple, the inverted triangle, and the rectangle because it adds some more dimension and volume and shape to the lower half. So therefore it's going to draw your eye down there and kind of smooth everything out and make you look amazing. A ruffle skirt on the other hand is like the one that I'm wearing. So this goes really great with an apple, hourglass, inverted triangle, and rectangle body shape and this is a great option if you want to add a little bit more volume to the bottom half and give yourself a little bit more of a curvy voluminous and flirty look and look number two for styling a white button down top is to make the outfit monochromatic and make it all white this is one of my favorite ways to wear this top especially at nighttime if you're going out for a nice sushi date or sushi dinner it's absolutely elegant you look amazing you look refined and it's a little bit more of a casual way to um to i guess wear a more fancy outfit 
a pop of color underneath and just, you know, try to wear pair it with a nice nude um, sandal heel or a nude pump and you just step out and you feel like you should be going to an all white party with P. Diddy and all the celebrities. Now the pleated short is a great option if you're an apple, an inverted triangle, or a rectangle because it's going to add more volume to the thigh and the hip area, so therefore it will balance out with all three of these body types beautifully. The Bermuda short is a great option for someone who doesn't want to do a short that is as short as the other ones, and this looks amazing on an apple, an inverted triangle, an hourglass and a rectangle because it's really going to kind of cinch you in at the waist and make your waist look smaller and add more volume around the thigh and the hip area, therefore balancing out beautifully with the kind of more oversized white button down top. Belted short is going to look especially amazing on a pair, a hourglass, and a rectangle because it's going to cinch you in at the waist and kind of create the appearance of a smaller waist and it's going to just really complement all of your curves. And for my rectangle ladies who don't have as much of a curve, it will kind of create a little bit more of that illusion. I, like I'm here for this look and I think that you guys should definitely try it. So what was your favorite outfit incorporating a white button down shirt? Let me know in the comments below. Mine definitely had to be the final look, the monochromatic outfit, because I just love to walk into a room and make a statement. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and click that like button so that it can reach other people and help them as well. Most importantly, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I make videos weekly and I really want you to be here so you don't miss any of them. If you haven't already booked your image consultation, you can go ahead and do that at concept3ing.com and I'd absolutely love to work with you on your image goals. And as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay leveled up. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.